millennials being squeezed out of middle class, says OECD. Here's a summary of the article. Millennials in advanced economies around the world are being squeezed out of the ranks of the middle class, including in Britain, as pay growth stalls and house prices skyrocket, according to the OECD. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development said that for every every generation since the baby boom of the 1940s, across 40 major countries, the middle income group had shrunk and its economic influence weakened. The Paris-based organization, which represents 36 wealthy nations around the world, but also included South Africa, China, Russia and Brazil in its analysis, said there had also been a noticeable decline in the living standards of middle-income families over the past three decades. It said there were 15 countries where the middle class was now a smaller group than before the financial crisis. The group was defined as people whose earnings are between 75% and 200% of median national income. As many as 70% of the baby boomers, born between 1942 and 1964 were part of the middle class in their 20s, compared with 60% of millennials, born between 1983 and 2002 at the same point in life, the OECD said. While the situation in Britain has been less pronounced than the OECD average, with 63% of baby boomers, compared to 59% of millennials, the report found that families in the middle income group had been squeezed. House prices in the UK over the past two decades have increased by at least 60% more than median incomes, much faster than the OECD average of 50%. The OECD recommended governments review and adapt the tax system, as well as reforms in housing and education to make it more accessible. Angel Gurria, the OECD Secretary General, said, Today the middle class looks increasingly like a boat in rocky waters. Governments must listen to people's concerns and protect and promote middle-class living standards. This will help drive economic inclusive and sustainable growth and create a more cohesive and stable social fabric. This post received a score of 44,573, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The next recession is going to suck so hard. Yep, and you see all these companies laying off workers like that won't start one. They're trying to get ahead of the game. My corporation 1000%. Huge hiring freeze in 2019 for the multi-billion dollar corp that I work for. We're already overworked, now a hiring freeze. But who's going to alleviate us? Oh don't worry. The moment you collapse from exhaustion, ultimately fail from stress, or just decide to off yourself instead of spending another day in the living hell of this workplace, your replacement will be hired within the hour to take up your slack. Nah, no way. He still has co-workers, they are still there. They can do his work, no need to hire a new person. High house prices, student debt and long-term wage growth lacking behind inflation. Can't imagine why. The economy is up. I'm just waiting on my dividends to pay out on the stocks I can't afford. Hey man, I have about $190 in penny stocks on Robinhood. I'm rolling in that economic growth. Which ones? I've been investing my free $4 into penny stocks for the last four months lol. Oh, garbage mostly. Novavax, DPW, Workhorse, Adamani. I'm up almost 2% since January, so I'm not quite Warren Buffett. You'd be better off throwing your money on a handful of indexes. M1 Finance lets you buy any amount of a fraction of anything they offer, which is everything on Robinhood and much much more. I know you don't have a lot invested, but your return would be much better. Also, they don't charge any fees. It's like Robinhood on steroids. It's just money to play around with, I've got real money elsewhere. This comment made me lol thank you kind stranger. According to Social Security Online, in 2017, 48% of the US population makes less than 30k. 83% makes less than 75k. Wow. I had no idea the percentage was that high. Thanks for sharing. Me either. I feel like social media, including Reddit, really makes us forget how low the median income actually is. I tell people on Reddit I earned 35k before taxes and they reply I should have went to school. I reply I graduated college and they reply you obviously studied the wrong fields. My first job out of college paid 30k. I went to law school later so my earning potential increased significantly but yeah, even with a background in statistics I had trouble. 
In my case though, leaving my hometown also helped. A lot about earning potential is geographic, not education dependent, which is why I think people have wildly different life cost and earning expectations. Otherwise they could be comparing apples to oranges and not realize it. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.